Hello, and welcome to the Kitty Cat Lane. My name is Lane, and today I'm going to be talking through my process of revisiting and redesigning old characters. This character was created about 10 years ago and was supposed to be a ruler over a primarily dragon-run land. Believe it or not, this guy is actually supposed to be a dragon, but in his human form. I recently showed him in my video where I roasted my old art and figured it's time for an overhaul. I'll be redesigning him in his dragon form, but first I decided to give him the full glow up treatment by roughly drawing the old design in my current style, redesigning the human form for a better idea of how I want him to look, and then drawing the dragon form based off of how I pictured him as a person. Is it a bit excessive? Maybe. But it's what helps me get the best end result for my reimagined characters. Back when I was first creating these characters and making this story, I couldn't draw dragons how I wanted them. So instead of trying to improve and become more confident in my abilities to draw dragons, I just drew them all in their human forms. Whether they would actually be seen as humans or not. It was my way of bypassing the extra work and also a way that I could still draw what I liked to draw most, which was people with fun hair and my idea of cool outfits at the time. I took a break from that story and from drawing for a few years, but once I got back into drawing and actively trying to improve, I started to come back to some of these characters and slowly improved their designs to get them how younger me would have always wanted them. For nostalgia's sake, I redrew the cast of main characters as humans one last time, but with modern clothes, just before starting to pinpoint how I wanted their true dragon forms to look. The average dragon in my story are anthropomorphic dragons with human-like habits and mannerisms. Since I started playing D&D in the time I took a break from drawing, I learned more about dragonborns and realized that's basically how I pictured my dragon species, but with tails and wings. So for the first rough draft of redesigning my characters into dragons, I sketched the main characters all together with the goal of making it clear that they are all different kinds of dragons not just in color, but with facial structure, horn shapes, scale layouts, and body types. Obviously, their dragon bodies are going to have different weight distributions than their human forms since they are now shown as reptiles and no longer mammals, but I still wanted to keep it as close to their old bodies as I could. Once I liked the direction I was going with those early concepts, I redrew them again, now pushing their designs to be even more different from each other with more color variation, details, and clothing that would more accurately represent the fantasy world that they live in. It was an overall improvement, but some of the changes in features didn't quite look how I wanted. I also knew that I wanted to improve some of the outfits. So after thinking on it for a bit, I made the third and most recent lineup of concept art for these designs. I'm the most pleased with this last page, but once I'm ready to draw these characters individually, I'll probably pull a few things from the previous page that I liked better. I thought it was good to go ahead and make changes on the newest page, even if I was pretty satisfied with the last rendition, since it was all concept art and figuring out what I liked and didn't like anyway. Drawing five characters all together can be a little exhausting, but I felt that for these main characters that would usually be together anyway, it was important to work on their designs together to make sure that they were different enough from each other but still fit together as a group. So let me know if there's anything you liked better about the previous renditions that you think might look better for the final versions of these characters. Now back to talking about our current redesign. For this human form, I mostly did whatever first came to my mind and felt right. I knew I didn't want to pour my whole heart and soul into this drawing since I would only be using it as a stepping stone to get to the dragon redesign, but I still wanted to redeem him a bit. I started by making him much more bulky and stern looking. I wanted him to look confident and not very approachable. He's the ruler, a king, someone who demands respect and has great authority. But he's not the ideal ruler. He's corrupt and cruel. The original design didn't give off the same vibe that I wanted. He looked more like a cartoon villain with all bark and no bite. He also didn't look as old as he was supposed to be, so I tried to give him more structure to his face and wrinkles to age him up a bit. I also gave him a beard and mustache combo, something that I'm usually pretty hesitant about doing since I'm not very 
used to drawing facial hair. But I aim to change that. I made his horns more intimidating and made those wings bigger and more functional. Then, to make him look like a more convincing villain, I got rid of his goofy spiky costume and cape and just gave him a nice suit because everyone knows that money and power go hand in hand and he definitely has both. Eventually, I'll touch up the outfit to be a little more unique, but for his concept art, I think it suits its purpose. Now that I had a better grasp of how he would look as a person, I felt more confident working on him as a dragon. Here are some quick lore drops that also influenced his design. Since he's of royal descent, he's got more traditional dragon blood in his veins, and that makes him a bigger dragon in comparison to the others. Here's a size comparison. He also has similar coloration and features to this dragon since they are related. I know, I know, I'm so original. The main character has a powerful evil relative that must be stopped. I knew it was a cliche even when I first came up with it long ago, but I'm working on making it more interesting, I promise. Anyway, I messed around with giving him more spikes, but it didn't feel natural, so I left it at this. I'm happy with what I created, and I'm looking forward to coming back to it later to make a more finalized, polished version. If you'd like to see more videos of me redesigning my old characters and making concept art, please hit the like button. And if you have any thoughts or suggestions on ways I could further improve this design, I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. Thank you all so much for taking a walk down the kitty cat lane with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And here's the secret kitty of the day. Bye!